Hello and welcome, my friends. It's Dion at the Blushing Mint. Um, hey, I am spending the day in my shed. Um, today is Saturday, July 27th, and it has been a very long time since I have had a chance to just come out to my shed and have a bit of a play. So that is my day today. Um, I have been uncovering and rediscovering some projects that I have been working on for a while. Pardon me while I try to adjust my lighting here. It's kind of a mess. Um, anyway, I have been discovering some projects that I had started and set aside for whatever reason. And I found this one and I thought, you know what? Let's see what is tucked inside. And I thought, rather than open it up myself, I am going to open it up with you guys. And we are going to just have a bit of a craft and chat play while I discover where I was at with this journal. Because um, I have not looked at it. This has been a long time. I don't even remember when I started this one. So let's see. Let's see, friends. I hope you guys are great. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for checking in. Um, let's see what we have here. So I did a fabric cover. Um, ooh, look. Oh, this is gorgeous. I kind of forgot what this looked like. Oh, my gosh. Look how beautiful that is. That's stunning. Okay. Um, all right. So fabric cover, big pockets of lace inside, sewn around the edges. Okay. Um, two signatures here. Let's see. Is this a Rachel and Bella Crafts? Was this a Rachel and Bella Crafts kit? I'm feeling like this was Rachel and Bella Crafts. I don't know which one, but I'm feeling like that's what this was. Um, okay, so I need to do some cutting in my signatures here. It looks like I need to cut these down. Um, got an Edith Holden page, Rachel and Bella Crafts, some of my own hand dyed stamped papers. Oh, sweet little sack. Cute. More of my own hand dyed stamped papers. Yeah, I feel like this is Rachel and Bella Crafts, center of the signature. So this, I assume I was going to create a pocket over here. This will free flip here. Is there a pocket? Yep, pocket in here. Okay. Gorgeous. Hmm, this is pretty. Guys, I haven't crafted in a long time. Okay, I'll need to cut this open before I sew it in. Flip here. Beautiful. This is, I think, Paris Gal 59 on Etsy. That's a ledger page. Okay, second signature. Whoo, that's pretty inside. All right. Okay. Okay. I can work with this. Obviously, I thought I could work with it. That's why I started it. Um, another sack. Cute. Oh, and I love how it goes here. This is gorgeous. Pariscal 59 Ledger. Another one of these. Okay. Beautiful hand-dyed papers. Hmm, sometimes I surprise myself. Sometimes I surprise even me. Okay, center of the signature. What do we got here? Um, so we're instead of doing this like a pocket, I think I was planning that it's going to close. Maybe. Obviously. Oh, yeah, so what I was thinking, I think, is I'll sew it in, then I'll glue the two edges here, 
and then it can close shut. Okay. I think I'm following where I was. I have no idea when I started this, you guys. Ooh, this just is gorgeous. Okay, I'll need to snip this off, cover that. Huh, I'm going to have to find the kit I was using for this to see what ephemera I have. Ooh, pretty. Mm -mm -mm. That's gorgeous. Okay. Then what do we have here? Okay, this is a flip. So was I going to sew this in? Or... Okay, it's too tall. This is a pocket. But... It fits these, but it's too tall for, if this is my main base page, it's a little too tall. So I'm going to have to cut it down to fit in here. Okay, so that's one. This is, this one fits. Okay, so that's another flip. Um... All right, what must have been working with some envelopes here at some point because everything's made with envelopes. Oh, and these are my own digital kit. This is just a, yeah, this is my own digital kit here. Huh. Just a little journal. I must have been going to put that maybe in a pocket somewhere. See, this is what happens when it's been a while since I've been in my shed, friends. Um, okay. Then I have, ooh, this is a gorgeous envelope. Ooh, and it feels good. Ooh, okay. So I have a big one of my envelopes. Okay. So was this like a, like you glue it here and here, and this is like a flip where you glue it here and here, and this flips maybe. Okay, I'm not sure, but I have two of those. So that's fun. So I have some things to put in here. Okay, well, let's, um, let me check my messages because. Somebody has been messaging in to me here. Okay. Family chat. Um, not doesn't apply to me. Okay. So let's see. The first thing is I'm going to take one of my signatures and I need to cut down my pages to fit within the signature. So I need to cut down about the top of there. Let's see what I can do here, friends. See how well I do. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, gosh, I am sorry. It has, it really has been a long time since I have been crafting. All right. And then I need to cut down the edge as well. So I'm going to guess and by golly here is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to guess and by golly and take everything down to maybe five. Let's just try it. Worst case, it's short, no big deal. I'd rather them be short than long when I'm having to cut. Okay, this one I'm going to deal with when I get there because I'm not sure what I was doing with it. Okay, turn it sideways. Wow, these papers are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Guessing by golly here. Okay. Yep. Oh, 
Now I'm a little, I'm going to have to lose a little of this image. Oh, that sadness. All right, let's see. Let's see if that will fit. Yep, okay. So those all fit. I'm going to take this out and open up this edge. That way it can be a pocket over here as well. Um, I'll need to do some gluing. I'll need to adhere a few things in here to make it work. But um, I will do that when I get to that portion. Okay. Now, did this stick out too? Let's see. Set this out of the way. Okay. This page here sticks out just a hair. So let's trim that off. So yeah, so this is probably not going to be a very exciting video, friends. Um, I just, I'm just having a bit of a play, and um, I thought, well, I'll bring my, I'll bring my friends along and see what has been going on with everyone. Okay, so then this one here. Gets cut off across the bottom. Um, yeah, not. I don't know. I've been. I'm back working in the office. Um, I have been talking about it with my husband for quite some time. Um, about going back to work. Um, I have been off for a very long time. Um, over a year, um, which I am grateful and thankful and whatnot that I have been able to have the time off that I've had, but um, there's been a lot of things on the backside that um, have been going on, and We've just been talking about the fact that, you know, maybe I need to step back in and do some stuff. And um, so, yeah, and I kind of, I kind of need to be maybe a little bit busier. I don't want to be lazy. I, I really don't want to be lazy. And now that, you know, I've had a year, I just need a little, a little something to do, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'll hate myself for it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be fine. I just have to, I just have to work through, um, I just have to work through it a little bit, getting used to it. It's, it's a new concept. It's a new concept to go to work. It's a new concept to go to work, friends. <laughs> Believe it or not. It is a whole different ball game for me. Um, I go to the office. I'm usually at the office, with the exception of this last Friday. I'm at the office by 7.30. And I get home around 5.30. And so that is really out of my wheelhouse because, you know, I don't even like to get out of bed by 7.30, let alone have to actually go somewhere. Um, and do something <laughs> and see people and be ready to like face the world. That is an unknown hour to me, but 
but I, I, I truly have kind of, kind of missed it and kind of missed having my hands on what's going on. And when my, sorry, I don't know why my voice is froggy all of a sudden having my hands on things. And then when my husband is telling me about stuff and I don't have a clue what he's talking about, um, at least maybe I can feel like I can be a bit more supportive. Um, because I might actually know what he's talking about. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We also might want to kill each other again. So then, you know, then I'll have to be like, yep, never mind. That was a bad idea. Bad idea. I don't know. Um, no, we would never do that. I mean, he would never do that. <laughs> he would never kill me. I, on the other hand, might think about it every now and then, but you know, never happened. Never happened. What would I do without my husband? I'm a lucky girl. I'm a lucky, lucky girl. So yeah, no, it's good. It's good. It's just a change. It's just a change. So having the ability to be out in my shed playing today is fantastic. Okay. So. All right. There's the first one done. Set this aside. All right. Let's work on this second one. See what we can do here. Now, this is too long. And too tall. All right. Right in here. All right, next. So yeah, so that's some changes going on in our little world. Um, otherwise, it has, um, my dad is out, no, he, my dad is not out of the hospital. My dad is not out of the hospital, but he is in rehab. And he is in white sulfur. And so that is, that is huge. He is nearing home. Um, his, their home is in white sulfur, but he is in rehab at their hospital in white sulfur for right now. And so as he gets stronger that is going to be amazing um, he is they are the the rehab there has been working with my dad for many years um because of his parkinson's and so they know him and they know his abilities and they're also able to kind of push him a little bit um to get him a hundred percent well so he can go be home um we just all want him to be well at home um, and not end up back in the hospital. My dad has been in the hospital pretty much for the most part since the 1st of June, basically. Um, so he has, he has spent the last couple months for the most part in the hospital. So that has been, that has been very, very hard on my mom and my dad and, um, so we're, we're real excited for him to be closer to getting to go home. So that is fun. So then I won't have to go back and forth to Billings or to stay in Billings as much. And neither will my mom. So those things are great. Those are great, great things for all of us. Um, School is coming back. I have to figure out how, and my nephew is, my youngest nephew, Colton, he is in North Dakota right now with his middle brother, um, with his first oldest brother. And um, so at some point I have to figure out how or who's going to get him brought back home. I took him. I don't know if I'm going to have to go get him as well, but no big deal. If I do, that's in a couple weeks. 
And um, so, and I don't know what the plans are, if he's going to end up part-time at my daughter's or um, what his what his game plan is for the school year, and that is okay. We'll figure all that out um, as the time as the time rolls near. So anyway, so yeah, I've had some I got some time at home the last two weeks, but this is my first real day in the shed. Okay, so. That's that with the exception of this page and I've got to figure out what I want to do with that. Okay, so those are my two signatures. Set this aside real quick. Whoop, had a crash. Sorry friends, my space is a wreck. Um, I really should have taken my first day in my shed and cleaned, but ah, nice try. That ain't never happening. Not on my first day, but friends, I have my lavender lotus lemonade. Mm -hmm. Yum for the win. Okay. Now, do I want to sew my signatures in first? I think this was just going to tuck into a pocket here. I don't really know what I was thinking there, but okay. Anyway, whatever. All right. Do I want to sew my signatures in first? If I do that, I need to find the sacks. And I need to do what needs to be done to glue these. Now, So no matter what, this needs to get glued down. I just have to figure out, sorry friends, I just am trying to figure out what pieces of these are needing to be glued so that everything is usable here. So, all right, let's see. So then that basically gives me a little space here I can tuck something and then a larger space here to tuck something. So I got a small tuck and a big tuck. So essentially it's like two pockets in there is really what that gives me. Okay. Um, all right, and then I'll have to put something over that. Okay, so there's two pockets there. Okay, then um, this is going to get glued down. It'll get sewed through the center. Okay, all right, so that one's okay. This one here, same thing. Pocket, small tuck there, full tuck there. So I just need to glue here and just along here. Okay, and then I'll need to cover that with something. This here needs to get glued down. Just want to do the mechanics here. That's it. Just want everything to work perfectly because once you sew it in the signature, it's a little harder to do some of those mechanics. 
And then this could stay a small tuck here if I wanted. Okay. All right. So let's see, friends. Um, now I need to address. Okay, I feel like this might just tuck into a pocket here as well. So these might just be tuck-ins and that. Okay. So then I need to address these two Edith Holden pages. How or what was I thinking with these? Um, was I thinking I was going to like tip these in so that they are full pages? I feel like that's what I want to do is I want to tip these in. I think I want to tip them in before I sew them in. I feel like I do. I feel like I want to tip them in. So a tip in, um, for anybody who's not familiar, a tip in is something that you add in as like not necessarily an afterthought, but once you've started your journal or whatever, you tip something into it. So it's more like a free flowing kind of thing. And you usually do that either with like tape or um tape or fabric or something like that or glue or whatever but um, I think that's what I want to do here and I also want to like cut down this edge here I don't want to cut it down I want to rip it down a little bit I'm going to lose a bit of this word here but it is what it is I think Because I need it, I'm doing this, one, because I need it to um, fit within this or more closely fit within the signature of the journal. Um, and I may come back and add lace to it or whatever, but yeah. So then if it's tipped in. I mean, you still see that a little bit. I don't mind that. I'm going to have lace on here. I'm going to have some other trims in here. Um, yeah. I could come in and do this side, but I'm not. Okay. So, oh no, I lost my spot. Here's my page. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip this in here and I'm going to use washi tape as my tip in medium here and let's find one we want to use. I think I'll just use this. Now um, this is Tim Holtz washi tape. Um, I'm sure it will probably stick but Sometimes there's just no guarantee. Washi tape over time um, loses its stickiness. And so it's important to, especially if you're doing something like a tip-in, it's important to use um, extra glue to make sure that it is not going to, um, that it's not going to come up. You could use full um, pieces of washi tape. You can use just small little ripped pieces of washi tape. Like I said, you could also use a piece of fabric. Um, you, could, you could do this many, many different ways. Um, I'm just going to use these 
small pieces of this washi tape here. And you need to make sure that it is on both sides of your item. So this page onto this page also. So So that is called a tip-in. Oh. And then you come on to the other side of it and you do the exact same thing. Um, so you, ha you do the front and the back of the item. Now, if I waited until it was inside the journal, then I would adhere it on to th from this page to this page here. Um, sometimes I find that I end up ripping the tape with my fingernails when I'm trying to tuck it down into the crack of that um, of the seam from page to page when it's an afterthought after um, the journal has been thrown together or sewn together, not thrown together. Um, and I end up ripping the tape, and thus the integrity of that tip-in is not, is not as good as I want it to be. So that's why I'm choosing to do this before versus after. Either method for a tip-in is completely acceptable. Don't, um, don't think that one way is better than the other or vice versa. It's, they're, they're both completely acceptable. Um, just making sure I get glue on all of this tape because I just want it to be able to stick well. Okay, so now this page floats just fine within my journal here. So then when it gets sewn in, everything's good. Everything's good. Love it. Okay. So there's that one. Love it. Here is our next one. Pull this out. Let's use a different tape. I have this yellow in here. Let's try that. Okay. So yeah. So this is just another idea. Oh, hold on. I got to add. I have to take this page down. This is just another way to add fold book pages without like folding them in half to put them in. This allows you to incorporate a whole book page so you can read it just like as if you were holding a book. And these Edith Holden pages are just beautiful and I want them to be fully seen in here. So, yeah, all right. Love it. Okay, so let's do this one. Set those aside. And Right. What are you guys working on? Comment below and tell me what you guys are working on. What's what's on your desks? What's are you doing projects? Are you taking the summer off? What's happening in your craft spaces? Are you organizing your craft spaces? Sometimes a lot of people take the summertime to get organized, especially if you are a crafter for the holidays, because it seems like as soon as summer is over, like everybody's gears start shifting to uh, Christmas crafting. 
I don't know, last year I did um, Christmas in July and I loved it. I grew my channel immensely through my Christmas in July projects. Um, I just, there was no way I could do Christmas in July this year. I really, I really thought about it. Um, I didn't, I was lucky to even get my um, TBM 2024, um, what is it? Oh, the full deck challenge. Yeah, the 2024 full deck challenge. I was I was lucky in July to even get those videos filmed and up. It it was a disaster for me. So, but I managed. Um, so yeah, there was just absolutely no way. And I I really did. I really wanted to have some Christmas in July projects for y'all, but just not in not in the cards for me. Altered cards was what was in the cards for me. That was it was all I could manage this year. So I always say maybe, maybe next time, maybe next time, but life happens, friends. Life, life happens and we just have to switch gears and keep going and just keep going. And I have tried to do that to the best of my ability, but I'll tell you, it has been, it has been a bit of a challenge. It was a challenging, challenging year. So, um, we'll see. I've, I've had some thoughts in my mind of some, pro of some ideas that I'd like to do um, and whatnot. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see. I got to get um, back into the swing of things with the office. I need to, you know, see what my what my life looks like being back in the office a little bit. And so then I got to figure out what my, what my time after that, what kind of time I have after that to invest into videos and stuff. Okay. So that's in there now. Lovely. Okay. So I feel like what I need to do is probably sew these in. And I feel like I have shown you guys that many, many times. And I think it's kind of boring. Not, I mean, it, it, it doesn't change. My method doesn't change. I don't do anything different um, to do that. And so then the only thing, oh, I need to cut, which one do I need to cut down? I need to cut this one here down. So I'm going to cut this down because it is too tall to fit on my signature. So I need to cut this down a little bit here. Okay, and then what I need to do is I need to, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing here. I need to then make sure that this side here matches this side now that I've cut it down. So I'm going to grab my scissor and do that. And then I need to ink because I just made a new cut there. So... I want to make sure that that is inked well and everything matches. Okay. Then I need to add a little bit of glue here. It is very, very toasty in my shed. So if you're hearing, I have fans and my little air conditioner on because it's toasty. I also have my dog, Cooper, and my grand dog, Blake, because my daughter and um, her cousin, Taylor, went on a little cousin's vacation, well, a quick little cousin's vacation. They went to North Dakota and saw Machine Gun Kelly and Shibuzi, I believe, in concert at the Minot State Fair. And um, so I babysat my grand dog. Okay. So I love that. I was just thinking, where am I going to put these? That is gorgeous on that paper. Let's see. 
just looking, just doing a quick look. Now, why? Oh, because I was like, now, why is that not the same size? What is happening here, friends? I don't know. Okay, not all of these pages are the same size. So look at that there. That's beautiful. Okay, that may go there. Oh, but then, oh, that's an envelope. It's possible. It does have to go on the right side, just the way, unless I flip it from here. I feel like, huh. Well, now that is giving me a reason to pause. I don't know. Those are afterthoughts. Okay. So anyway, friends. Um, yeah. So let me know what you think of this. This is just a, it's a unfinished business. That's what they are. Unfinished business project. And I am going to sew this in. And then in the next video, um, I will come in and we'll start working on this again. I got to go find the printable kit that I used for this as well. And we'll, we'll meet back here. So thanks for being here, friends. I appreciate you guys. I'm sorry I've left you all hanging for so long. I'm thankful that you're checking back in with me. Um, I just, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate you. And I look forward to crafting a little bit more with you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, friends, take care, be well. We'll chat again real soon. Bye-bye.